Hello friends, welcome to my channel Explore with Joyita. Amid the vast range of occupations, some jobs are inherently more perilous than others. These jobs require a significant amount of courage, skill and resilience to undertake. Where the slightest mistake or misjudgment can result in severe injury or even death. Today I will tell you about the some of the most hazardous jobs in the world where individuals put their lives on the line for a living. Now let's move on. Number 1. Stuntsman A stuntman is a skilled professional who performs dangerous or challenging physical acts often in film or television productions on behalf of actors or other performers. Stuntmen may specialize in specific areas such as martial arts, driving or high falls. Stuntmen are responsible for assessing the risks involved in a stunt and taking appropriate safety measures to ensure that the stunt is performed safely. They often work closely with directors, producers and special effects coordinators to plan and execute stunts that are both visually impressive and safe for everyone involved while stunt work is inherently dangerous much of this risk can be mitigated through the use of specialized equipment when that equipment malfunctions dangerous mishaps can occur resulting in potentially catastrophic injuries such as broken bones burns traumatic brain injuries and possibly death number 2 miners valuable minerals are found all over the world and most often the only way to get them is by mining into the earth's ground not an easy or riskless feat to achieve even in the simplest of locations due to the nature of mineral extraction literally drilling into the surface of the earth and sending men into cavernous and potentially toxic spaces with heavy machinery and equipment mining is an extremely dangerous job the loss of life has been staggering over the many years that it has been in practice as are the hazards that miners face on a day to day basis Although the mining industry employs only 1% of the global labor force, it generates 8% of all fatal accidents. Over the years, mining has become much safer. Numerous measures have been and are being put in place to improve the safety of the miners and improve the environment in which they work. However, the reality is mines can still be unpredictable and accidents can happen. Mining is an industry that occurs all over the world even in the most remote places where temperatures drop as low as minus 50 degrees celsius or as high as 60 degrees celsius the nightmare of being buried alive can be a very real concern for miners mine cave ins or mine collapses are some of the most widely reported mining accidents that happen all over the world Cave-ins happen when the supporting pillars within the mine fall, letting go of the load causing a catastrophic chain of events. Often cave-ins occur due to the less predictable hazard of seismic activity, earth tremors and earthquakes that can result in further landslides and earthfall. These cannot always be predicted but they should be properly assessed and prepared for before even beginning mining activities in that area. Cave-ins can also be caused by improper mining activities such as blasting or so-called retreat mining. Blasting is the use of explosives to clear areas of the mine. If done improperly, it can cause earthquake like results that damage the support pillars causing a collapse toxic gases can kill a miner simply by being present in the air long before an explosion even has time to find a source of ignition number 3 oil field workers it's no surprise that oil field work can be very dangerous 
oil field workers are constantly exposed to heavy machinery heights chemicals moving vehicles and many other hazards they must often deal with bad weather conditions including high winds strong storms freezing temperatures and intense sunlight many of them work long tiring hours in some jobs oil field workers may work 7 to 14 days in a row before getting a day off bureau of labor statistics bls data shows they may be pressured by the oil industry employers to do more work in less time all of these things can lead to accidents that result in serious injuries and sadly fatalities But because oil field jobs often pay very well many workers take the risks so they can provide a good income for their families Number 4 underwater welding Underwater welding is a specialized type of welding that requires extensive training and unique skills Underwater welders typically work on offshore oil rigs and offshore pipelines when they are in the need of repair while the work can be very profitable it can be argued that it's the most dangerous job in the world compared to any other job underwater welding carries a death rate that is more than 75 times higher underwater welders are at huge risk each and every time they are on a job unfortunately These risks can turn into catastrophic injuries that cause long-term health problems or even wrongful death. Some of the most common dangers that underwater welders face include explosions from gas pockets created from the formation of oxygen and hydrogen pose a big risk to underwater welders because they can be lethal. Electric shock is the biggest threat to underwater welders which is why special waterproof equipment must be tested and then used for all underwater welding jobs. Decompression sickness also called a diver's disease can happen when divers consume harmful gases while moving between pressure zones. In extreme cases, decompression sickness can be fatal. ear nose and lung damage underwater welding involves a lot of time spent in high pressure waters as a result long term ear nose and lung damage can happen number 5 venom milker a snake milker is trained to remove the venom from various poisonous snakes like mambas cobras and pythons This is done by gripping the snake behind the head in such a way to expose its fangs. The snake is then encouraged to bite down on a special container which collects the venom which drops from the fangs. This is called milking a snake. The venom is then freeze dried to send to the labs. This is a very dangerous procedure because at any one time the snake may move and escape leaving the snake milker in danger of being bitten. In some cases the tiniest drop of venom can kill a full grown man. This venom is then used to produce anti venom to combat the poisons in someone who has been bitten by a poisonous snake. A snake milker usually breeds highly poisonous snakes for this purpose. So friends, this was my video today. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to get more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you.